Well, I'm the channel guys, VST here, but I Tech. I have the Pixel 6 here running the Tensor chipset engineered by Google, but produced by Samsung. And here guys, we have the Samsung S21 Ultra engineered by Samsung, produced by Samsung, running the Exynos 2100 chip. What I'm gonna do right now in this video, I'm gonna do a simple CPU throttling test just to try to prove a point or not prove a point. I'm gonna show you guys the options. I'm gonna use the standard options, number of threads, 20 on each phone. It's gonna run for 15 minutes. And I'm also going to display the CPU Temperature guys, so I'm gonna save both settings and without any further ado, I'm going to start the test in three Two are you subscribed for the channel guys? Yeah, if not, please do so Really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart and now let's start the testing. Okay guys What is the point of doing this? The point of doing this is the recent announcement that were made about the Exynos 2200 and also some of the latest reviews that are coming from some other colleagues from YouTube on the latest Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 1st generation. Specifically, I watched a review from people on the Xiaomi Mi 12 Pro. You can see the here, I'm gonna put a link down below. And the latest Snapdragon is just performing very, very poorly. Now guys, is it because of poor thermal optimization by the vendor? It could be the case. Because remember, last time the 888 Snapdragon was also not perfect and Qualcomm kind of tried to push the blame towards the manufacturers. They said, listen guys, we just gave them the chip, but they are doing all the optimizations and the thermals on their own. And so, yeah, we will probably never know the truth, but in reality, the last Snapdragon 888 had problems with thermals and also the latest chip 8 Gen 1 has problems with thermals, meaning that at some point when it's gonna get too heavy, the phone is going to throttle, which means it's going to rip you off of the performance. Now guys, I am experiencing here some bad performance on my Exynos due to the fact that this baby was just plugged into the charger, right? But anyway, I just wanted to give a bit of a head start for the Tensor chip. So the Tensor chip, you know, is produced by Samsung, engineered by Google. Pixel 6 is probably one of the most hated phones right now, or at least at some point it was before the January update. So I said, hey, I'm gonna put both phones, just leave them there for 15 minutes and see what will happen. Now, basically guys, how should you read it like this? We have here, guys, all the cores, right? A stable line means good performance. Basically here, the performance of a time graph will show you if everything is up and running or not. So this one, for example, is good. This one, not so bad, but it's still okay. If we just see big drops like this, then this means that the phone is going to throttle, which means that at some point it gets so hot that it will have to limit the performance of the CPU to try to hold back on the temperature and try to reduce it. And this kind of impacts you because if you're playing a very heavily graphic intensive game like the Genshin Impact and the phone decides to throttle, you most probably, yeah, lose frames. And yeah, understand this will make also a huge impact if you're playing some of the competitive games where FPS is required now. Yeah, competitive gaming and mobile phones. All right, that's a whole other topic, guys. But this is the idea of the video, so I'm gonna leave the camera running and meet you here, guys, when the test is over to analyze the results. Again, if you're not subscribed, guys, think of it. Uh, if you decide to do so, then many thanks. If not, yeah, just please stay safe and happy and let's see what will happen until the end of the video. Alright, 30 more seconds to go guys and I'll start making my final conclusions. Overall the Exynos behaves a bit better because you can just see it is slightly beyond the 80%. As to the Pixel 6 Tensor is rather around the 80%. So you can just see guys the performance in GIPS. So the Exynos chipset is really able to maintain stable performance. Okay, so that's the Tensor. But the Exynos 2100 is also able to 
perform better, meaning like 90% from the overall performance. I mean, we can just see here, this is really to be seen very easily from the graphics. All right, now both tests ended, guys. Let's see now the final results, guys. The maximum performance on the Tensor chipset was 246 GIPS, similar on the Exynos 2100. Okay, the average on the Tensor was 218 and almost the same exact performance from the Exynos. The minimum was 194. Here, by the way, we got 180. I think this is just this tiny drop, this tiny drop, this tiny peak here. The CPU throttled 82% of its max performance on the Exynos, exactly the same on the Tensor. So the Pixel 6 and the Samsung S200 series are really, you know, two brothers from another mother, right? But father is the same. So guys, this has been the video. Again, if you like content like this, let me know by liking the video. Please, you and your families, guys, stay safe until we meet in one of my next episodes. And with that said, guys, this is over and bye.